participate in a number of sailing and cruising forums. I learn a lot and occasionally I get to contribute. Having added solar panels to our CS36 traditional last year, I weighed in on this question posted on a particular forum. The questionnaire indicated the primary needs were minimal to power a small fridge and to charge a laptop. So how do you calculate the power that you need to satisfy this? Well, in researching for upgrades on my own boat, I reviewed Nigel Calder's Boat Owner's Mechanical and Electrical Manual. And in the first chapter, Calder illustrates how to calculate power needs for your boat. This is the Excel file I created to help me understand what energy storage I would require before our trip to the Bahamas five years ago. You can see that the calculations are fairly straightforward. Look at the hourly power consumption of each appliance you have on board, lights, pumps, refrigerations, etc. And then estimate how long you would use each item in a typical day. Now I also suggest that you estimate just a little bit high and that way you'll have some power in reserve in case your consumption goes up. And this chart is also a great jumping off point if you decide to look at conserving energy. You'll be able to make better decisions on how long to run a particular item like the refrigeration or your lights. So you can see our anticipated energy consumption was 230 amp hours each day. And like us, the person who posted the question has two 100 amp hour batteries. And since it shortens the life of a deep cycle battery, we never take our battery below a 50% charge. So the two batteries will support the fridge for eight hours. Here's the calculation. 50% of the 200 amp hours available is 100 amp hours. We divide that 100 amp hours by the energy draw of the refrigerator of 12.5 amps, so we have about eight hours of energy to use before the batteries have to be recharged. However, the fridge doesn't have to stay on all the time. If the fridge has reasonable insulation, then you should be able to run the fridge for five or six hours in the heat of the day, and then five or six hours at night to get the fridge really cold again. So two 100 watt solar panels will produce 15 to 16 amps per hour in full sunlight and a little less if overcast or there's some shade from a sail or, or the boat. And that will leave sufficient energy in the batteries to run the anchor light, some house lights and recharge that laptop computer. Click on the links below this video to download the Power Usage Excel file that I used. I also found this Volts Watts Amps Converter. The site is linked below as well. If you have a question, ask one of our experts, send it to the email below. On behalf of Canadian Yachting Magazine and InformedBoater.com, I'm Rob McLeod. Stay informed.